please uh, submit unit number one, unit number two, three, four, and the five. So, uh, the unit number one, uh, we will cover the introductory of uh, basic of basic definition, then the type of learning, then the hypothesis is in the bias, so here what is the interactive bias and all these things, so the evaluation and the consolidation. So, uh, we will cover all this basic information about uh, uh, many algorithms, basically you can say that. Uh, uh, which type of machine learning algorithm, then what in the hypothesis, then what uh, in the hypothesis phase, then inductive bias, then the evaluation, who evaluates the machine learning algorithm, or if you compare the machine learning, uh, learning algorithm, uh, which algorithm you can say that is the best algorithm, uh, to um, say that that algorithm is the best one, so you have to evaluate that algorithm, okay. How you can be evaluate that algorithm? We will see in this evaluation and the optimization section. Okay. In the unit number two, uh, it is more specific about uh, uh, supervised learning machine learning algorithm. For example, linear regression, decision tree. Uh, in the decision tree, uh, we will uh, see what we have overfitting, underfitting, instance based learning, feature reduction, collaborative filter recommendation. These are the very uh, basic, very important uh, algorithms we will see in the unit number two. In unit number three, uh, we will focus on the probability and bias algorithm, learning uh, algorithm, and we will uh, uh, find out what is the logistic integration, then SVM, that is the software machine, uh, kernel machine, uh, kernel function, and the uh, kernel SVM. Okay. Uh, that is the support vector machine, that is the SVM. Moving to the next uh, unit, that is unit number uh, okay, it requires so not six. Sorry. I just want to make changes. It's a unit number four. So in the unit number four, uh, unit number four, we will see uh, computational learning uh, theory. PCA learning model, sample complexity, key dimension, and assembly learning. Uh, so these are the uh, uh, topic we will cover in the unit number uh, four. And in the last unit, that is unit number two, we will more specifically see what is that clustering. In the clustering, we will see the main clustering, then adaptive vertical clustering, and the Gaussian vector. So this is all about our uh, course. Okay, um, this course is very limited. Okay. Uh, so and it is when we are training this subject uh, by considering all the kind of students. Okay. So uh, who are expert in machine learning, those are not expert in machine learning, who are, who are feeling very confident in machine learning algorithm, who are not feel, uh, feeling any confident in a machine learning algorithm. So we are keeping a time uh, by frame, by doing the framing of this uh, syllabus. Yes. So, so that uh, everybody can understand uh, machine learning algorithm from the basic. Okay, so uh, this is all about the first content. So uh, during this uh, 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 semester four, we will cover all these things, uh, all these units. That is unit uh, five units, uh, and we will try to cover our best, right? And with a uh, practical approach, right? So three books. So here are the few books I recommend it to uh, to understand. More about this subject, the first one that is written by me and my other colleagues, that is the uh, introduction to machine learning algorithm, uh, it's by the Das Danu profession. The second uh, uh, book is by the uh, A. Krishna Mohan and T. Murli Mohan, uh, by the Einstein profession, that is a Python with machine learning. And, uh, and another book, uh, that is the introduction to uh, machine learning at MIT, um, MIT Press. Uh, this, this is a more, this is a book also, you can refer, uh, written by me, uh, by the other book. This is a very handy book to understand the basic of machine learning. So here we are start what is by machine learning algorithm, okay, for so the first introduction. The machine learning is a buzzword for past few years. So, 
mostly from the 2015 onward you can see that the world artificial intelligence machine learning and deep learning is in market so why is uh, machine learning or artificial intelligence are nowadays very popular it is very popular because of a few reason even though this uh, concept is not new okay it is not in, uh, okay, just invented this word or artificial intelligence was started from 2019 50 but because of the limited resources okay resources means hardware resources and the limited resources it is very difficult to implement the concept that is artificial the same thing the machine learning concept of invented in 1970 onward but again the because of some limitation of data not a huge amount of data is available again so these are the some and the hardware limitation the gpu are very costly the server are very costly okay so because of that limitation nobody has to ready to implement the machine learning uh, concept or artificial intelligence in their project because for training purpose or for because of for um in the model it requires a huge amount of data and if you want a huge amount of data you require a high performance computer high performance computers like gpus a server with uh, 100 gb or near about 100 gb uh, ram and the byte pentabyte storage capacity hard disk it is very costly okay and to implement the machine learning algorithm in fact the data only so because of the limitation of data and because of the limitation of hardware resources this artificial intelligence and machine learning will not be used the nvidia is now developing a gpu in very uh, low cost price okay so nowadays you can see uh, in a laptop also there are the gpus are available so because of this revolution because of the revolution of high performance performance processor gpus this machine learning is now utilized by the company or uh, allow the software industry to enter the world of artificial intelligence machine learning is a big word from the last few years it was is a demanding technology artificial intelligence and machine learning and deep learning the reason for this might be the high amount of data produced by the application so you can see that nowadays uh, one when the uh, book was launched of launch of the book you can see that huge amount of data is now generated on the daily basis because everybody is upload their feature everybody is uploading the uh, comments likes what is this that it is nothing but you are processing the data on the server of a facebook the same is happening with the youtube everybody nowadays uploading their videos on youtube it is very common in nowadays to upload videos that amount of data is now increases day by day and how of data is increases by day by day apply the machine learning algorithm is very easy or to apply the uh, deep learning algorithm is very easy
The third reason behind the popularity of this machine learning or AI is the increase of computation power. I, as I already discussed, computation power means what do you mean by computation power? Computation power means your processor, your hard disk, your network, your wired network, your wireless network. So because of the GPUs are introduced by the NVIDIA company, it allows to process the data in parallel fashion instead of the serial fashion and that parallel application is not only the 100 or 200, it takes a thousand or million of data at a time in the parallel application and perform the execution. So because of this, the GPU, your processor speed is getting increasing. RAM is a random access memory. Before 2000, you can see that only the 2 GB or 4 GB RAM is sufficient. Or if you have the server, so 2 GB or 25 GB RAM is sufficient. But this 2 GB or 25 now it is available in your mobile. So that kind of revolution, that kind of thing is nowadays happen and the server has 165 plus GB RAM. So normal, normal to normal server nowadays having a RAM with 150 GB plus. This is nothing but the increasing of your computation power. Another important thing is hard, hard disk or storage. Because of this cloud computing concept, it is very easy to store your data at cloud because there is no limitation of data, storage data. Unlimited storage of data you can store on the cloud and there is no need to store your data your your computer, your, uh, your workstation. You can store your data somewhere in the cloud and you can easily access it. That is the solution given by the cloud computing. So because of processor speed is increases, because of storage capacity is increases, because of RAM capacity is increases, So it is very easy to implement the machine learning or deep learning or you can say that artificial intelligence. So because of this revolution in the com uh, computer or in IT sector, nowadays it is very easy to implement the AI or machine learning or deep learning. One of the uh, very easy example of this uh, machine learning is a variable fitness track. So you can see that the variable fitness track which is due the indications of is a combination of IoT and the machine learning. It is found your bit, hard bit or pulse bit and based on your pulse bit it will give us some recommendation. Suggestion. What exactly means that? It is nothing but the system is already trained, the fitness build is already trained by uh, using the previous data, some previous data, and it will give you a prediction or recommendation or suggestion on the basis of your current data. So, whatever the uh, hard bit you have, whatever the uh, bit you have. So based on that bit, your variable fitness track feedback will give the intelligently assist you to what you have to do and what you have to not do. Okay. So if you are doing uh, over exercise, 
that it is a bit of a warn you and say that hey, don't do that because you are suffering from this disease. So don't do that particular work. So that decision taking power is now available at your device. So your device nowadays is taking up some decision and that is a important point or that is a important point of artificial intelligence or machine learning. So decision power, now we are giving the decision power to your machine. Another important example is that is a Alexa. So Alexa is nothing but a kind of all natural language based. So based on your attendance, based on your assistance of Alexa, you understand your natural language? And once you give a command to Alexa, Alexa has converted that voice command into the text command, send it to the cloud or web service. A web service is understand the particular command, there is a text command written back whatever the reply it wants in the form of voice. 